behind me is the first all-electric Rolls Royce, and this may be the quietest car on the planet. This is the Rolls Royce Spectre, and this car is so quiet, I can whisper at 65 miles an hour. Here's how quiet it is from a standstill. Come listen to this. This is the turn signal sound on the new Rolls Royce Spectre. In order to make that sound, Rolls Royce sampled this noise and the clink of two crystal champagne flutes. The result is that it sounds kind of exactly like a normal turn signal indicator sound. Come with me to a Rolls Royce private event. So we're on our way to a official unveiling of the new Spectre from Rolls Royce. This was a private event at Brayman, Miami, and I absolutely love the details on this car. I'm getting ideas for my next one. Definitely the star lights on the door for sure. After that, our sales rep took us upstairs so that my hubby could look at some of the ghost options that they had. And after getting a little tipsy off of the champagne, your girl had to get a bite to eat and we went to Novikov. First time I've been here and it was amazing. It also makes 577 horsepower, so it's pretty quick. The car may not be loud, but this purple definitely is. Your interior is also purple. You get these lamb's wool carpets, and you can't forget about your umbrella. Whenever I push my foot on the brake, that'll shut my door for me. My vents are pure metal, and my voice assistant sounds super fancy. You get a starlight headliner with shooting stars. Your seats are heated, ventilated, and they massage you. You get more stars in your dash, a touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, a fully digital display, and more stars in your door. So on the outside, you get full LED lights. Your entire grill lights up at night, and you can't forget about Eleanor, because if you try to steal her, you can't. And in case you're wondering, this does 260 miles on one charge. And if you need to go further than that, just take the private jet. I think the new Rolls-Royce Spectre might be the most luxurious two-door car that has ever been made. Firstly, we all know that because this is a Rolls-Royce, you get an umbrella here in the door for a rainy day. That door is actually quite a far reach, but you don't have to reach and close it manually. You get a little switch here on the console, just pull it and the door will close automatically. And the door is quite heavy to open, so you just pull the latch and it will crack open just a little bit so that nobody coming behind you smashes into the door. You can then just take your hand and push it the rest of the way and it'll do the rest. And if you're even too lazy to just push a button, just put your foot on the brake and the door will automatically come to you. Everything else on the Spectre is also automatic. You just pull this seat forward a little bit and it will electronically slide all the way forward, making it easy to get into those rear seats. It's super easy to hop into the back. You get a ton of space back here and then when you're ready, you just pull the seat backwards and it will recline to its original position. I've got plenty of legroom back here, but if you need a little bit more, you get a button to slide the seat up a little bit. And then when you're ready to get out, just repeat the process, tilt the seat forward and it will slide forward as far as possible and then whoop, you can just hop out. And of course you don't have to do anything brutish like close this door yourself. You just put your finger right here on the door handle and the door will do the rest. But if for some reason you do wanna be a barbarian and shut your own door, just bring it gently to a close and it will latch the rest of the way. Even something basic like the trunk is fully automated. You get a massive amount of space back here and then when you're ready to close it, you just push this button. Like I said, the most luxurious two-door car ever. Look at this all new light up grill on the very first fully electric Rolls Royce. How cool is this? 23 inch, now we're talking. Look how huge they are. Oh my God, so cool. Now we're on the back. You have brushed metallic here on the side. How beautiful is that with the RR logo inside? And then, Check this out. 
How awesome is this? So you've got the three lights indicated in the middle. Now, look at this, look at this. You've got star lights on the door panels. Of course you have your starlight roof. And then you see how the stars wrap all the way around to the back passengers there. How beautiful is this? Now, you can customize the color of your dials. So check this out, guys. Watch this. See how it changes? This is the customized color for this Rolls Royce, but you get to choose yours and check out how you close the door, ready? Look, you put your foot on the brake, ready? And the door closes. <laughs> how freaking cool is that? Come on in, guys. Look at this beautiful light up screen in front of you. Now, all together, you have over 5,500 stars, about 580 horsepower and 520 kilometers in range. Now, there's two of these. Let's go check out the other one. Let me know what you think is cooler. This is the other spec on display. Watch. No star lights on the door, but instead you have walnut. How beautiful is that? And you see how it all leans forward? It's all in motion towards the front of the car, like it's in movement. And around the back, you've got other rings as well that you can choose from. These wheels, they look different. And then, look at the boot space. Here we go. So you've got this space and then underneath, You've got this extra space here. Now the batteries run along the floor of the car and that provides insulation from all of the road noise. Right here is your charging port, right? First time ever on a Rolls Royce, zero to 80% charge in 38 minutes. Not bad. All right, so which spec do you like better? Let me know in the comments section. Do you like this spec? The gunmetal grey with the walnut interior, with the lights around here, or do you like the star lights in the doors? What do you think? The all new Spectre.